Hi there guys, my name is Rapskillin, welcome to another daily vlog, filmed a bit later in the day than usual. So, I wanted to talk about DLC, in particular DC, one second. There you go, seems less smudgy. <laughs> I bought a DLC for a game called Total War, uh, Warhammer, and the DLC I bought was called Blood for the Blood God. Now, what is this DLC? Is it extra character? Is it a new skin? A new map? No, it is gore added to the game. This one here. And it's three francs. Uh, I don't know, maybe like two dollars, something like this. I'm not sure about the currency rate. But, what are you, what are you guys thoughts about this? It just adds gore to the game. And looking at the comment, at the, at the Steam review page, a lot of people don't like it. I, I think it's a cool addition. And the, the, the excuse from the game developer themselves, it was like, if we put this into the game, originally it would get like an R rating or a mature rating, meaning we get less, we can reach less people. And plus also, you know, they, the game would have been pushed out to a longer release date. They couldn't put in release. I mean, this is like a few months after the game release, they released this DLC. And uh, for me, I think it has a quite cool way. It was cool. I saw it and I instantly bought it. But then afterwards, I started thinking about this. This is basically horse armor. This is the horse armor DLC from Elder Scrolls. And it made me go. It made me laugh. I mean, if you have any suggestions, if you have not suggestions, but if you have any examples of other games, except for Elder Scrolls and, of course, this game, uh, doing the same thing, tell me. Tell me which games also you've. Which DLC is you so like that's a stupid ass DLC, but you know what? I'm gonna buy it. You know, it it wasn't like they charged me fifty like twenty dollars or sixteen dollars for a DLC. I saw a few games also do that and I felt that's kinda scummy, but they're just like two, three dollars and it adds quite a lot. It's like retexturing, blood effects, and the game runs a bit smoother for some reason. I don't I'm not a game developer, so I have no clue how that works. But um apparently I hold the camera too close to my face. It's quite a distance actually. <laughs> and I swear too much. Fuckity fuck fuck. Joking. Evil. Love you, buddy. But <laughs> I feel like it adds a cool effect to the game. It add, it finally makes the game feel a whole because if you guys know Warhammer, Dawn of War, or Warhammer 40k, you know it's a pretty brutal game storyline. It's pretty brutal. It's like fucking guts and shit, and it's not the most PG game and universe. So. That this wasn't in the original game, I felt, eh, I was quite surprised when I first played again. There was not a lot of blood effects. Like, am I missing something here? Or am I in the setting? I checked the settings, it wasn't there. And when I saw this has happened during the Steam summer sale, I was like, bye. <laughs> and it, for me, it's just a few dollars. Yeah, but it was worth it. But, again, I could see where this could be seem, it can kind of come over as being fucked up and, you know, wrong to do, but... Then again, I'm a very bitchy, not a bitchy person, not a very picky person when it comes to my DLC. I don't buy a lot of DLC as it is. I mean, yeah, I buy the base game and if it's a really good DLC, then I'll be like, okay, I'll buy it. But rarely, very rarely, I go for it. But it just, this, this, this is a clear purchase for me. But I can see how it comes to me. It's got like, how many negative reviews? got like mixed overall currently at the moment and I don't know what do you guys think come on give me your opinion about it what is what is your opinion about this kind of type this kind of DLC do you think it's wrong for developers to put this in the kind of game or should they put this in the game since launch or should they have just hold to the game and go for the mature release what's your opinion anyway my name is Rob Skillion I am a bit tired today so the energy is quite low so yeah Take care, guys. Love your face with a bit of pun. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye-bye. It's not a vlog. It's a vlog. It's a vlog.